Hey guys, welcome back to my video, or back to my layout, I should say. Um, I haven't made a video in a while where I describe what I'm doing, what I'm doing, and how I'm doing it. Um, this is for both the YouTube uh, fans and for the Facebook fans. Um, I've come a long way. Uh, the YouTubers uh, haven't seen much. Uh, Facebookers, you've been spo spoiled from uh, <laughs> from everything, uh, with everything, I should say. So let me explain what's gone on in the past few months. Um, as you can hear, most of the most of the sound effects are still going. Um, I've added a lot of uh, lights. We'll turn the lighting down in here a little bit, but we've uh, added a lot of lighting, a lot of sign lightage. Um, I haven't got people on the streets yet. We're going to do that later. That's the last half of it. Adding more little details. Um, didn't add a lot to the signs. Um, oops, sorry, I almost fell over my own damn feet. Um, <laughs> uh, we've added a lot to the layout lately. Um, I darkened up the asphalt. I gotta weather it, um, on the intermodal yard before it was too shiny and looked like an ice skating rink, uh, one of my friends were commenting on. Um, but we've also added chain link around the intermodal, I should, shouldn't call it intermodal, it's more of a transfer facility, transfer yard, but uh, as you can see, looks a lot better now with a little bit uh, flatter paint on there, but I gotta, like I said, I gotta weather it, put some tire marks in it and everything else. Um, like I said, the town's pretty much lit up typical Florida town you know looking for the tourist dollars little tourist trap dollars including strip bar gotta have one of them <laughs> um, I've added to the engine facility and coach yard basically the uh, maintenance yard um, added concreted in all the rails So that service can be done on equipment. Then as you come through the yard, um, I've also added uh, concrete to around the platform around the station. And along with yard lights, which I've yet to hook up, but going to. Um, yes, we do have a Circle K. And as you can see, there is a phone booth, so you know where that's going. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Um, as you go around, pretty much everything's been shut down a little bit because I've been working on scenery. Um, if you haven't noticed, their tree line has started to form. I've been using uh, felt grass, um, that's static grass, I should say. That's going to get chain linked in for the yard for. Uh, overflow for the transfer facility Wally came back he was missing there for a while but he came back um, I've added I've started adding I got grade cross uh, grade crossing going in um, I got a kind of a cheap um, kind of got a cheap uh, grade crossing kit and it's got LED errors photo sensors down here to turn on the lights as you can see had to put a light over them to get them to work a little bit better but they work pretty good let me turn some of the lighting down a little bit so we can see some of the lights a little bit better on this place um I'm playing around with backdrops trying to hide the coming in and going in of the highway and hide the staging yard a little bit in the back um as you can see the station for uh whatever or wherever I should say town of wherever is in and lit as well as the transflow facility it's all lit up the distribution center, it's all lit up. 
and again <laughs> forgot to take stuff off the table okay um air conditioner and uh appliance warehouse is lit and in as well as the um storage facility back there Oh, and uh, here's another feature you guys haven't seen. Um, how I do my how I do my uh, sunsets and change the colors of my backdrop. Bunch of LEDs. Some that run on the backside facing toward it, and some that shine up and toward it. When I turn the lighting down, you'll see how that comes into play. Um, I'm going to add another string of lights so I can add a little bit more color to it. But that there's a hidden area that you don't normally see. Those are not supposed to be mountains. <laughs> Florida don't have mountains. I was trying to create some trees, tree line, but I'm going to change that. I'm going to smooth that out a little bit more. Um, I got the thunder and lightning kit from... Uh, From Hollow, um, Hollow, or Unlimited, Runway uh, Limited. I'm sorry about that. Brain freeze. My smoke generator for creating fog. You mash the button. Gotta turn on the ceiling fan a little bit, help mix it up a little bit. There you go. There you go. Gives us our fog effect. A lot of you that have seen my videos and everything else wonder how I do the fog. That's it. Turn on the ceiling fan. It blends it out in the room. Usually one shot does it. And then instant either fog, rain, bad weather. And there you go. Makes uh, some videos interesting. Also makes the lighting a little bit pop out a little bit more. Now what we're going to do is going to turn out the lights a little bit. So I got pretty much lights all the way around it. As you can see, the whole layout's got track lighting spotting down as well as the ceiling fans lights. I'm going to turn it down and voila drastic change. Other than the window light coming in it tends to give you more of a subtle look of it. Um, the sound effects are from a YouTube video that I'm using um, our YouTube uh, channel and I just got city sounds on my little speaker that I keep tucked up underneath the layout I could either play music or um, put more background noise now you can see with the fog fog machine just one little shot in the air here makes the weather look just a little bit more real coming in this is typical Florida weather sunny on one side at you know 20 miles away and then you got a thunderstorm coming in <laughs> those of you who live here you know that good shot of the sunrise
as you can see all the buildings now got with the exception of a couple I'm using the Miller engineering uh, signs See, we're pretty well lit. The infamous uh, vodka bottle. That is real vodka in there, by the way. And as we got the sunset hitting the storm, it turns out pretty good. Um. That's probably one of the most interesting effects. It's not a new effect. It's been around for a while. Um, this uh, used to be done with uh, Christmas tree lights. But now that you've got LEDs, um, we have a controller. We can change um, the colors. I mean, we can go from a blue tone that down a lot <laughs> okay you stand back from it gives you a little bit better look of it Let's see if the camera will focus again screwed with the camera now. there we go see we get a little bit more of a darker blue we can go back to sunset A little red behind it but I can come up with all kinds of color combinations on the uh, sunset and everything else so <clears throat> you can intensify it or bring it down however we want to so Right there. Everything's still working. We still got everything going on. Whew. That's me hitting the ceiling fan. <laughs> Trying to turn it off. And there you go. Explains a lot. Thank you for following along.